Okay, now that we've got everything unboxed, we can begin assembly. The tire goes this way, which the disc goes between the slot where your disc breaks. So make sure you insert that correctly. Use a small spacer. Okay. large spacer goes on the opposite side. And you lock that. Make sure your lock nuts are oriented correctly, which is the rounded side goes on the outside. Tighten everything down. Okay, and so on to the next step. Next step, um, you need your cotter pin, so don't forget your cotter pin. Press down on this handle. This, this handle presses down. And at the same time, lift up. Until this locks in place. Your kickstand down and insert your cotter pin until it's locked. Okay, so I'll put it all the way in, and that completes that step. Next is the handle. Handlebars take your clamp and take out the bolts. Um, you notice that. I had to crowbar this thing wide because it wouldn't quite fit. It, I was jamming it down and it couldn't fit, so I used a crowbar to widen this. You, you may need to, you may not, I don't know. But in any case, do whatever you need to do in order to get this thing to fit. Take the ones with the uh, lock washers and And use your hex nut wrench, your hex wrench to tighten. Don't tighten them down all the way yet. You may want to adjust your handlebar when you set it up. Okay, that's good enough. You notice the hole lines up. That doesn't quite look right. Okay, yeah, that's better.
Okay, done with that. Okay, the next step is to adjust the brakes, but um, other than making sure that they're reasonable, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I'm going to adjust them after I do a road test. So, just want to make sure that they're working and um, taking them down. So, they seem okay. I don't know if they're soft or hard until I'm out on the road. We'll see. Next step is to uh, insert the fuse. The instruction says to unlock the, um, the top, but it's not locked. All there is is just Velcro attachments. Um, I'm going to secure this with a bungee cord so that it doesn't fall down. Um, open this up. Insert your 30 amp fuse. Make sure that they fit properly into the slots. focus bits create a spot weld And close it up. See the assemblies next. Take the post, the narrow portion that goes forward, and this stub end that is pointed out that goes into the slot. Insert your cotter pin. You notice I pre-assembled this portion here. This portion here again, just like the handlebar, was very difficult. The connector was very difficult to widen. Again, I had to basically crowbar it wide so that this would fit. I pre-assembled the seat, screwed it on, tightened it down. Very simple. Insert and snap it shut. I'll tighten it down and snap it shut. Okay, and I need to adjust the heights and all of that, but basically that's done with the seat at this point, other than for minor adjustments. Oh, I forgot. Um, you need to plug this in. You notice that it doesn't quite stretch around, so you need to pull this out. There's some play in the, the line, so you can pull that out and insert it in the proper slot. So that connects your brake light and stop light. Headed to the hope stretch. Take your Nuts, remove them, install your headlight. And you need to connect the connectors. Okay, and that's your light headlights. 
And the last step is to go ahead and charge it up. It's being charged right now. So the instruction says to charge it up to six to eight hours before taking it out for a ride. Uh, so I guess I'll come back later and do that. Um, before I take it out for test ride, I'll go ahead and make sure that all the bolts, all the nuts are all tightened up. Um, everything's secured. I might go ahead and zip tie a few of these loose wires that are here and there and whatever. But uh, other than that, it's um, complete and uh, ready to go. This is how the completed scooter looks like. Um, I tightened everything up. There are quite a few bolts that needed to be tightened. Um, we got nice 16 inch wheels with uh, fake uh, carbon fiber uh, texture on it. Um, but um, the wheels are nice. Headlights. Got the um, speedometer and battery level indicator. Got a small dent on that rear mud guard. Don't know when that happened, but uh, it's okay, I guess. I'll do a more in-depth review later on with um, all the details. That's it for now.